In this video, we will talk about PC Pro Alliance with CompTIA A Plus certification, IT certification training. When should our member request for this access, which is $179? So you want to make sure that you don't just waste this money and the time. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly when should this access be requested. Now, assume that you either become a light member or a premium member you went to job skill share and then you started the first course this is something that you will learn from the email or from the first time when you log into this platform we tell people to start with our IT fundamental course which is IT fundamental part one so let's go ahead and search this course and here's the course IT support fundamental part one now you as a member um, you're basically starting from scratch this is for someone who is brand new to IT you are transitioning into IT or you just landed an IT job and you want to learn things a little bit more uh, in a fashion where you want to learn basics to more advanced in a proper way and you just want to learn things correctly so here uh, my recommendation for self-paced members are that when you finish the course introduction transitioning to IT support videos now this is a very important section because a lot of people get stuck or like you know where they don't understand how IT titles work, salaries, different type of environments. So this is the most important uh, module or chapter in this platform that really prepares you for any sort of certification training or real world skills training. So at this point, you are in a real world skills training, which goes deeper into what goes on into a real work environment. So your confidence is building up at this moment. So then we recommend you to finish the core IT learning for IT professionals. This is another important one that you don't want to miss because here you're being prepared. Your mind is being prepared towards technology. Somebody's breaking th things down in a very basic way, in a very simple way. And this is where when you get to this module where it says CompTIA A+, Practice Lab or Module 1 Operating Systems Types and Features, this is directly coming from the practice lab, which is this one, 2.21.002, a lab, which is a hands-on lab. So if you're a light member, of course, you don't have access to the, the hands-on side of this. But this is actually, if you look at it, this is also preparing you for CompTIA. But of course, it's not going to cover hardware or a lot of different things that, that can be covered in a full-blown IT uh, CompTIA A plus IT training. So this is where you stop in this platform if you want to utilize and your mind is ready that okay you know what I have known the basics at this point I'm gonna jump into the test top because I want to learn hardware as well and I want to learn things uh, for, for certification so then when I learn about certification content then I'm gonna come back to this so this will become more of like a practice for me to enhance my hands-on skills. So this is the moment you're going to stop and then come back to JSS membership and then you will request for PC Pro this one. So you're going to start preparing yourself for CompTIA A plus training, which is going to be that simulated type of training and very targeted towards A plus. But still, you're learning a lot of things that is kind of in line with real world skills training at the same time. So now you're being targeted. Now you're being guided in a way that somebody's telling you to to take this and take this and take this and now you're getting prepared for that job so we're countering an issue over here a lot of people go straight to this type of certification even if you take it from test out a lot of people come to us hey i'm still not ready because i have i never knew that uh, a job will require office 365 and things like that and and somebody really need to break things down for me how this whole thing works so this core lectures in the beginning of our courses really does that part of work and then even the other modules over here we start talking about um, in lectures the same way so you're combining a real world training with a certification training and that is the complete package that that we have been offering in our mentorship as well so of course beyond this is mentorship like somebody is then really looking at you and then uh, investing their energy giving you references all that kind of stuff is of course mentorship then that is another level of uh, training for some people that can do this what i'm basically talking about so to summarize you are a premium member most likely you come over here and then you basically finish this first three modules over here and then you will stop where it says comptia a plus practice lab 
you're not going to jump into your labs because this is a year long access so you're not going to lose this access quickly the the access that you're going to be worried about is if you go for this this is going to be three months and you really want to finish this in three months and then at the in in three months of course at some point you're going to jump back to these labs again because you want to do that hands-on a little bit more better way but this is the whole content so let me show you what comptia uh, a plus looks like in test out so after that third module in jss you kind of stop learning from jss at that moment you requested you you spend 179 dollar and now you have three months access the day you we assign this license it's going to start the time will start uh for that three months so here is a content when you come over here uh, what I was talking about, like here, when you go into com computer overview, it kind of talks about the basics of computers and in a way to set up a computer. For example, you come over here and now you're you're going to learn about, you know, learning that what is computer? What are the components of setting up a whole computer? Motherboard, CPU, can I see those things? Can I touch these things? So yes, this is what I was talking about, that you can see this hardware like this where you can see the motherboard of this machine just like that you can even click it and remove things put it back in there and this is what it's going to teach you so you can go back to the whole floor play around with this type of training so now you're realizing the power of the combination of this why we use this in our mentorship as well and at this point when you're here in our training and when you let's say finish that a plus even if you don't go for CompTIA a plus certification you're going to have a very solid confidence and understanding of how things are moving along uh, in this and then when you start getting into the practice lab then now you're not doing a simulated type of training so when we say simulated it's very powerful but it's still simulation right so if i go back to the content here and i open this uh, machine now this is almost exactly like a real machine so you're getting that confidence on a real machine but there are certain things you won't be able to do over here like you can't really do see the feature has not been simulated so that's not gonna uh, help you later on when you want to enhance your skills that that we are teaching maybe there's a lot of things that test out doesn't cover because their focus is certification our focus is real world skills so we're going to go beyond uh certification because we, we think certification is a 10 percent of our program so you're going to go back to your practice labs then by watching the video it gives you a little bit more confidence and you see that okay i can really watch the video of a lab and that kind of you know if i get stuck then i will watch the video if you come back to the labs and you turn on these real machines right here now this is what i'm talking about you get that real machines real practice going on in real systems so that part is important the flow is important first you understood the hardware the confidence is built up somebody have taught you in that platform uh, from videos and theory is done now you're coming back to our training in the same way we will also cover some theory and trainings over here if you don't want to go for certification like a uh, test out we still cover it but it's just that we're adding that package to even make it more powerful for stuff based learner over here so now you have this real systems you can go left and right and do a lot of things in these real system break it and and then it's still going to come back again if you reset the whole machine so this is the flow for CompTIA A plus training because even if you're finishing our IT fundamental part one course, this means that you have some percentage. I would say 50 to 60 percent. You are you are ready for CompTIA even if you do this training, which we are not claiming to be in a certification provider right here. But we're still telling people, look, you you're almost you're you're already do doing a CompTIA A plus certification, but we're we're just teaching. The, the concept and everything in a real world way so then you get a little mo better understanding and you're more job ready but if you're one of those type of people that hey i want to I utilize this learning i did all this training but i can actually use this to go for certification then of course you're going to get a little more serious on certification because you need a practice exam and those are different type of things like you're going to come over here and you're going to um do all these practices right here so if you come all the way down this is called ta plus core practice exam core two practice exam and then all of this and then there's a test of pc pro certification uh, practice exam so that gets you ready for their certification but every uh, module will have its own quizzes in there that you are going to perform uh, to pass these quizzes over here practice questions right here so this is what i'm talking about and that's the flow for comptia a plus and late after this i am going to show you when should you go for the pc pro when does this come uh, you know, when should you request for this certification? Because in, in the same program, 
at some point you would want to get this one if you want to go for certification uh, if you don't want to go for certification you want to learn more md100 or microsoft level skills like like what, what they're teaching over here then i'm going to tell you when should you actually request this access when you're doing a program learning in jss